Hey guys, we are back here playing some rewrite. This is like episode four. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy the series thus far. And I'm here playing with Four Thirteen as always. Hey, what's up, guys? So let's just get straight into this game. Last episode, we left off with Yoshino trying to be friendly with him, but he just rejected us and punched us like seven times. So that was pretty nice. Yeah, it was great. We tried to eat lunch with him, and didn't really work out. Yeah. So now we're just going, instead I go to a high class bento store near the school. So let's just get right into it guys. Here we go. I got a bit over excited though and bought something they call a Parisian Sandwich Bento. It needed the accent. Sounds delicious. <laughs> of course, we're not allowed to leave campus. Damn it. But it's a rich boy school, so there isn't a single guard. Just like when I left, I get back to campus by simply climbing a fence. Alright, yeah, it works. Admittedly, if a teacher sees me, it'll get confiscated. And I've wasted a lot of time waiting in line. Everyone else is probably done eating by now. I'd better eat this before heading back. Why do I do everything by myself? I'm over halfway through my second year. I must have had chances to make friends at some point. Well, we did have Katori. <laughs> uh, we tried to get Yoshino. Yeah, hmm. I'd really like to do something about this. While thinking about that, I hopped down from the fence. Hmm? The plastic bag got stuck on something. God damn it. <laughs> hate when that happens. Looks like one of the wires in the fence is sticking out. C crap! Plastic bags tear so easily. Splat. Watcha! The bento falls apart and kisses the ground. Good metaphor. Good metaphor. <laughs> kisses or the ground. Hyperbole, whatever it's called. I'm not a PO. Whatever. I don't know. Ooh, ah, now what? I'm gonna have to buy another one. I'm not gonna waste money on that. <laughs> I return to the shop and realize something. My wallet feels light. I knew it. Oh, no. Do, oh, we just got pickpocketed, didn't we? Yep. Oops. A mere 150 yen. The best food I can buy with this would probably be cup ramen. Best food. Here we go. <laughs> Without any other choice, I rush into a convenience store and pick a rod random cup. I heat it up in the store before leaving. I'm gonna be late for class, I bet. Oh, that's pretty nice scenery. Then I head to the park to eat it. This is one of my favorite places. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. This is the ideal location for sitting down on a bench and staring off into space. And there are just the right number of people so it doesn't feel empty or crowded. I make a loud noises as I slurp the snoodles. This is good. <laughs> but my sandwiches. They fell directly onto ground when I dropped them, so I better give up on them. But poor people like me have trouble throwing things away. Parisian sandwiches and cup ramen. That's a huge difference. Just the fact that one is called Parisian makes the gap between them huge. Like a Pomeranian versus a greater demon or daimon. Daimon? Daimon? But this cup ramen is good. <laughs> when you only eat it once in a while, it's really good. Given the practice, it's impossible to complain about it. Cup ramen is a powerful ally for the commoner. But no one wants to eat it every day, except Naruto. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's a strange food. Come to think of it, how are you supposed to abbreviate cup ramen? Maybe cupra? CP. <laughs> this cup, should we call it cupra or cupra? Uh, Cupra. Cupra is good. <laughs> Slurp. I actually really love cup ramen. It's the best yeah. thing ever. You wanna make the cat noise? The cat noise? Yeah. Good job. Nia. <laughs> Nia. <laughs> A friendly cat approaches. Oh, you want some too? A cat probably wouldn't mind having dirt on their food. But do they eat sandwiches? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I offered it to the cat anyway. I've oh. eaten my cat sandwiches. <laughs> oh, he ate it. <laughs> he seems to like it. There's another cat watching us from afar. Come on, you can eat too. <laughs> Make a hiss noise. <laughs> mm. He seems violent. I pull bits of tuna out of the sandwich and toss them toward the violent cat. <laughs> <laughs> the cat picks it up with his mouth and runs off. He's really bad at this. 
Friendly cats like you probably get much more food. Yeah. <laughs> well, some humans are like that too. I love how I'm the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up my trash and leave the parks. Oh, almost forgot. At some point, three other cats had joined in. So, so there were four of them crowding around the empty sandwich box. I forgot to throw away. Bye oh, now. Have a good life. <laughs> <laughs> You're like pricks to those cats. <laughs> As I leave, <laughs> the violent cat re returns for the scraps. That guy's always hissing. <laughs> I wave goodbye to that hissy cat and walk away. <laughs> hissy. <laughs> uh, we're back here. The uphill, <laughs> the uphill road to school. Below me, I can see the city covered in green. I never compared it to the other cities, but this is a lot of green. The nearby mountain is particular, are in partic particular are completely covered in it. In elementary school, we took a kind of social science class called Our Town. From what I learned back then, the forest around here is under government control, which means humans are protecting the forest here. I could even go for beetles there in summer. Memories are so beautiful. Viva Mother Nature. I think all children need to go looking for insects at some point. If they don't get used to how icky and critters like that move around, they won't be able to calmly deal with mo more disgusting creatures. Boys need to be able to deal with things like that. <laughs> Ideally, if something leaps at them, they should be able to hit go <laughs> and punch it to the ground. He's starting to sound more like y Yoshino. Unfortunately, I didn't get used to those things. So I'm still kind of bad at dealing with insects. Are we like wusses or something? Like, what, 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 <laughs> I like, guess so. Like the weakest character here. In fact, I'm like a Sup, herbivore bro. who goes kya the moment I see them. We sound like a gay guy now. Yeah, we gotta work on our uh, confidence. <laughs> I did go looking for bugs, but I never found any. <laughs> Russell, Russell. <laughs> I hear something above me. Huh? I look up and see nothing. I look down and find a cardboard box at the bottom of the tree. What's this doing here? Is there something above it? Where's the girl? I try looking into the tree. Again. That instant. Alright, alright. Hold up. I, I feel like there's going to be a panty shot. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Here, here we go. Let's hope. Alright. <laughs> Russell, 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 Russell. Eee! A tremendous noise erupts overhead. Whoa, wh wh what happened? Dang it. Oh, uh, it's close. Oh, I mean, wow. it's it's about time we meet another girl, though. Yeah. Ooh ah, a girl fell from the sky. Her uniform is different from ours, so she must be from a different school. I could tell she was in trouble, but I couldn't think for a few seconds. The loud rustling of leaves, the light pouring through the trees, a girl with orange hair, writh writh writhing, writhing around like a fish in a net. I can't <laughs> tell if this is poetic or tragic. Wait, doesn't that this mean she fell? Hey, are, are, are you okay? I try getting her attention. Whoa. Ah. She starts wriggling. The branches shake, but she fails to dislodge herself. Her body is stuck in a U-shape between two huge branches, and she can't seem to get up. How do you get stuck in a tree? <laughs> it's, I'm probably not okay. I can't get down. Um... After falling that spectacularly, you think she'd be injured somehow. Are you hurt? I hurt all over because all the branches scraped me. So no serious injuries. Once I know that, I start thinking again. First, let's re reassess the situation. This cardboard box probably contains the girl's stuff. It's a perfectly ordinary box with a moving company's logo on it. There's nothing strange about it at all. The girl didn't exactly fall from the sky, either. She probably slipped and fell from somewhere higher up in the hill. But still, there should be guardrails up there, so something must have really knocked her over. I think she's the transfer student. Oh, that would make sense. Because she has a different um, outfit, yeah. uniform, whatever. But even then, would she fall for over it? Come to think of it, I saw an American cartoon once where the hero got blown into a dump trunk. D dump truck. 
then leaped out of it along with what he was carrying and landed at his destination. He must have been trying to do something like that. Hop off the hill and... Hello, you got mail! Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay then. Completing the delivery the moment she landed. Yeah, that would be pretty quick. So when the dump trunk showed up... Oh yeah, that was my chance! And she managed to jump this far, but didn't quite stick to the landing at the end, I guess. A perfect explanation. Yes, that's the best explanation we can come up with. <sighs> I'm so sad. I thought our character would be a little smarter than that. Yeah. I thought it makes perfect sense. Most people would die from that, so it's clearly not right. I stopped being an idiot and looked back up. Dare I ask how you ended up in there? I fell. Fell from what? I see. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it fell from the heavens. That's normal. <laughs> no helping it if she fell. Anyway, she can't move right now, so I better help. I'll come up there and help. Sit tight. Ah. Um, hum? <laughs> Don't you dare look at my underwear. <laughs> figured out our plan. <laughs> Uh, look how bare she looks. <laughs> I like her, uh, things. You look like angel wings. Yeah, I like her hair. Oh, she's that redhead. Yeah. Mmm. Well, I wasn't planning on looking. Well, actually. This is not <laughs> But given the position you're in, it's gonna be really hard not to see it. Wah, <laughs> wah. <laughs> <laughs> she tries to push her short skirt down. Incidentally, uh, why do girls wear such short skirts if they don't want anyone to see their panties? That is true. Good question. <laughs> if you're gonna come up here, make sure you don't look. It's kind of hard to climb without looking up, you know? Not much I can do about it. I'd almost certainly see them as soon as I reach the base of the trunk. Oh, yes. We should get a panty shot. <laughs> don't look at them anyway. Hmm, what do you want me to do then? Do you want me to help or not? No, no, please help me, I can't get down. I think. This is quite a conundrum. Let's check some other angles. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, I wouldn't mind. Oh crap, I saw a bit of pink. Oh. <laughs> can't you hide them with something? No, I can't move at all. So, you want me to climb up the tree to save you without looking up or in your general direction? Seems good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can't do it. Since you give me no other choice, I just move on and pretend I saw nothing. Oh, that's just great. I wave my hand, turn around, and walk off. <laughs> oh, it's just like was before with uh, that other guy. What's yeah. his name? Yoshino, no, yeah. you just walk off, forget about him. <laughs> ah, what's with you? Don't be so mean. But it's impossible, what am I supposed to do? And you call yourself a man. Should you really be talking like that when, some, when asking someone else for help? Well, I saw nothing, so I'll just move on. So you can keep waiting and imagine that it'd be like if some old pervert found you, said, nice panties, and took a picture. I'm sure it'd be much worse than letting me see them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so right. That is true, actually. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't want that! Whoops, I started talking to myself even though I didn't see anything. I should keep walking while mimicking a certain someone. Namely, our former Prime Minister Koizumi, who used to watch little kids' hero shows despite his, this, his age. Oh, uh, that sounded weird for a second. Yeah. <laughs> we used to watch little kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey! The warrior! Hey, oh, hero! This! Destroy this organization! I am in awe! <laughs> <laughs> ah, she laughed. No one's ever laughed at that gag before. <laughs> anyway, you're a boy, so you should help me. So it's okay if I see them? We've been try no. trying to help you. <laughs> yeah, we just want to help you. Come on, this would have been done a long time ago. She wouldn't, if you weren't so embarrassed of your panties, <laughs> come on. Listen to what I have to say next. Okay then, nice panties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I get the point. I still want that panty shot. Me too. There. I rescued her without incident. Yeah, we. 
<laughs> okay. Ha! Huh, I'm saved! Fortunately, she really does have no serious injuries. How tough is she? So how did you end up here any again? The truth is, I'm actually a transfer student. Called oh, it. we knew it. Oh? What else could you possibly be? Well, I guess that means this is a girl everyone was excited about. But I couldn't figure out where the classroom, where the school was. Oh, well, it wasn't in the tree, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I finally found it and walked all the way here. But I was kind of tired, so I put up my stuff on the guardrail to take a break. Then I lost my balance and fell head first. Well, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. It happens to everyone. If it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, on my way to school, I just you know end yeah. up in a tree. Yeah, seems legit. I reassure her with a cheery smile. Ah, oh, she blushed. I can't quite tell if she's mad or embarrassed. So you spent all morning wandering around town? Nah, it's fine. It happens to everyone, of course. Yeah, everything happens to everyone. Once more, I reassure her with a cheery smile. This is humiliating. Should we get going then? Huh? To school. The humiliation is becoming unbearable. Like I said, it's fine. Uh, oh, oh well, okay. Uh, is this your stuff? I guess she toward the box. Did she carry this thing all around town? I should at least carry it for her. Mm. I put my hands into holes on each side and raise my hips. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is heavy, unbelievably heavy. Ooh, 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 oh. Thud. I dropped it. No way. I tried lifting it from the bottom. Ooh. It's still really heavy. My hips started screaming almost instantly. I tried handing it to the girl. Hmm? She grabs it without effort. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not that weak. Um, hang on a second. I tried doing pull-ups on one of the, tre uh, the tree's lower branches. Ooh, ooh, not too hard. If anything, my arms are stronger than average. Something's not right here. This girl was able to hold that box with her slender arms and wander around town for hours with it. What are you doing? Checking something. I don't understand. Okay, let's try this. I take the box again. Here it goes. Ooh, it's still heavy. Um, what is it? I can't tell if you're trying to look calm, but your face is bright red and your veins are popping out. I'm just embarrassed. I don't think that'd make your veins pop. Is it heavy? There's no way this box can be heavy if a girl <laughs> it around for hours all by herself. Your arms are quivering. They're just excited. No, I'll carry it. I'm pretty strong. No way, I can't walk empty handed while a girl carries this. My pride as a man will not allow it. I find myself squared on my on by a bizarre sense of duty. Um I can I can tell you're eager to do this, but I prefer you didn't. Drop it. Leave it to me, you have nothing to worry about. Um I'm already worry, worried about it. It's fine, I'll carry it. Eh. She grabs the box for me, but I can't let her take it. It's just not cool. Moo. Yank. She pulls on me. I fight back. Moo moo. Yank 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 yank. Please give it back. I think I think we made her mad. <laughs> she she puts a little more strength into it and pop. <gasps> Porn magazines. <laughs> the box tears. What? She loses her balance. Dump. Roll 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 roll. Crash. She rolled and fell down the hill. N not good, not good. She collides with the guardrail and falls right over it. I rush towards her. Hey, I'm a transfer student. I listen. Ow, ow. And answer, she isn't dead. Looks like a tree caught her again. That's twice in a row. She's really lucky. Well, actually, she had a pretty bad luck. What on earth do you think you're doing? She yells at me. Uh, um, this is my fault? Anyway, she seems fine. Wait, wah! And then she falls. Alright, let's leave it at that, guys, so then we'll see what happens to her next. Hopefully, we get uh, to see what what was in the box and go to class, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be late by the time this <laughs> is going to be done, so. Probably. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, more to come, hopefully, yes, maybe. Our session is going to be done for tonight, so hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I don't know when the next recording session will be, but hope you guys are going to enjoy it anyway. And, yeah, so the link to Vogel13's channel will be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.
pictures on my phone. Hmm, I, I, I wouldn't expect that, you know? I wouldn't have thought that would happen. This thing's kind of like the people version of a sat snap. What is a sat